Hey, welcome to this uh, quick tutorial on some of the new features in Carolina Roller Girls Derby Scoreboard. We're looking particularly at the uh, Scoreboard Assistant and the lineup tracking uh, pages today. Uh, these have been recently developed features and they'll be integral into some of the, uh, the new features that we're developing around uh, uh, some of the interesting stuff we're doing this year, but I'll get into details on that later. We're just loading some team details into the scoreboard now that we can use. Uh, there's some teams you may have heard of. Uh, just got them in Texas. Uh, so we've got some uh, some players to play with and um, let's just uh, get some uh, other screens open here. So the two, as I said, we we're looking at is the lineup control panel. You see there it's still beta quality and the scoreboard assistant. Now that's one that I've particularly tested a fair bit and we ran nine games using it on a tablet recently uh, at uh, Derby Fest down, uh, Derby Fest in Queensland. Uh, so yep, we, these are the two screens as you can see on the scoreboard assistant and the lineup tracker. The lineup tracker screen is a little bit more detailed than the scoreboard assistant and includes uh, blocker selection. So we'll focus on that one. If you get familiar with the layout and use of the the, the lineup screen, the scoreboard assistant screens just slightly simpler. That's the one that we've actually used more of, uh, at least personally I have. So uh, here in the lineups, let's uh, select some players to get started. Uh, we're going to select uh, pivots, blockers and jammers today just for the sake of completeness. With the scoreboard assistant screen, you only really need to pick jammers. Um, picking pivots will work well with the uh, the upcoming uh, star pass functionality and undo star pass functionality, of course, which will go with that. Um, and there's a good reason for some of this undo functionality, which we'll talk about in a uh, in an upcoming um, tutorial. So we've got Got some players selected as you can see three four zero and five are selected as the jammers there on the jammer line and let's start the clock so um just to to run you through the full features we're going to pop a, a player into the box now um elbows major elbows there uh major whoops uh but anyway bonnie thunders is off to the box um Yep, and we'll just stop the jam, pop back over to the lineup controller screen, and you'll see that she is still selected as the jammer because we didn't unselect her from the uh, the box. Clicking on these boxes here, or just tapping on them on a tablet, it's a brilliant way to do it, just on a tablet, tap on the boxes, uh, and uh, and just tapping on the red box button will release that jammer from the box. Now this isn't related with box timing at the moment, that's uh, something we may look at in the future, but... Uh, here we go, got another jam started now. Let's add some points. Well, actually, no, we just put Bonnie into the box. She better not get any points. Uh, let's release her first. <laughs> uh, and we're not going to worry about any points because this is just a mainly a demo looking at the scoreboard assist and lineup tracker screen. So let's take a look now at the scoreboard assist version of the screen. It's much the same. Oh, sorry, that's the scoreboard itself. Uh, yep, we've got some jammers assisted. As I was saying before, I recorded the audio to this separately from the video. So, um,. Apologies if I'm uh, not following myself well. So here we go, pop that jammer in the box. One thing to note here is the lead status does not change automatically at this point. That's something that we'll be looking at in the future. So right now you do have to make sure you say they are not lead anymore once they've gone to the box. Now that would generally be the scoreboard operator doing that as opposed to a lineup uh, assistant or a scoreboard assistant uh, using this interface. So here we go, as you can see, it's exactly the same interface. As one changes, the other will change too which is useful when you've got multiple people. So this is the traditional way of selecting the jammer. It's cumbersome and it's also uh, a little annoying uh, when you're trying to use the Alex scoreboard controls. But that's the end of my video, so thank you very much for watching. Look forward to bringing you some additional videos in the future on how to use CRG. Thank you. It's FTP from Inner West Roller Derby League.